Hey guys and welcome back to a, another video. So if you saw my last one you will saw that I did a Kylie Grinch collection unboxing and today I'm going to do the makeup look. So if you want to recreate this look then keep on watching because I will show you what I use. Um, I am really sorry that the lighting is horrendous. I have already filmed this video and it was still having shadows over my face and I just couldn't deal with it so I've refilmed it today it's better but it's still not brilliant so I'm really sorry um but yeah if you guys would like to recreate this look or just see how the products go on then keep on watching so like I was saying I have already filmed this video but the lighting was just really really bad and it just annoyed me too much so I didn't post it um, I'm trying again, it's earlier in the morning, it's a brighter day, but I'm still getting like shadows over my face. So I'm really sorry guys, there's just nothing I can do about it. Just ignore my little scratches on the wall. Um, it's really embarrassing that you can see this. I'll try and crop it out. But basically, before my mirror was hung up on my wall, I used to just rest it and it's just taken off all of the wallpaper. But because my mirror goes, you can't usually see it. Um, but I thought you guys might find it a little bit annoying if the mirror was there and you can sort of see my reflection. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is tie my hair up. I've already primed my face and I'm not actually going to tie my hair up. I'm going to use these little clips that I got from Kylie's skin. In the video that I did originally, I did actually do like an unboxing of these. Um, if the footage isn't too bad, I'll probably still insert it like here um, so that you guys can see. But um, basically, these clips are like what Bailey Sarian uses in her videos. And it's really like, oh, I don't know, they're just really nice. I like them. But I've tried a couple of times to get these in like she does. And I just can't seem to seem to get it. I don't know. I feel like she has hers really forward and it looks cute. And she could probably go out the house wearing them. But um, yeah, I can't get them right maybe it's my hair um i know she uses like wigs and extensions um and i've got lots of baby hair that's just annoying <laughs> so maybe that's why but um so these are the clips they're like a really cute baby pink oh i'm so sorry guys the shadows are doing my head in let alone yours um maybe i need like a proper ring light thing or uh, something like that Maybe I'll try film at Kane's one day if I can uh, get him off his PlayStation long enough to go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, so they're in. It's not pretty. I'm sorry. Right, so the clips are in and I've just put a little bobble at the back of my hair just to keep everything off my neck as well. Um, this bobble is actually from the Kylie Skin thing too. So I've already put my skincare on and I'm going to go in with a primer now. So this is a YSL primer that Kane got me for my birthday. It's the Touch A Clap Blur Primer. And as you can see, it lasts a while um, and it's really, really nice. So when you squirt it, you know, that's just one pump. It's like a clear gel with some gold specks in. And I just kind of rub that into my face pat a bit i don't actually know what you're supposed to do um i just kind of make sure it's in everywhere so this is actually my favorite primer that i've ever used for a long while i never used to be bothered about primers i just didn't think they worked um but since i've been using this one i really really like it even if i'm not wearing makeup up, i will sometimes just wear this because it's got like little gold flecks in it you can't see it really on the skin but it just gives it a nice little bit of a luminosity um so yeah i really like this primer and i just wait like 30 seconds a minute just to make sure it's all absorbed and a little bit tacky so then i go in with a little bit of concealer i'm going to use the naked skin by urban decay i usually go between this one and morphe's concealer uh, but that one's a little it's really nice and full coverage but it's a little bit drying on me anyway um, so I kind of sometimes mix them. Today I'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer around my chin and my jaw just before I, I put some foundation on. And I'll use a damp beauty blender just to blend that in. 
so I'm not properly like concealing or anything like that but I just think it helps before I put all of my foundation on um just to get rid of it a little bit um because I'm really prone to getting spots as you can see on my chin and on my jawline um so yeah it's just what works for me it doesn't work for everyone and it's probably not the best tip um i'm not a makeup artist but uh there we go so next we move on to foundation and i will either use the dior forever one or bare minerals liquid pro bare pro whatever it's called um this is in their lighter shade and so is this and you can see they're not the same color um so this is my summer shade and this is my winter shade but I really like this one more. Um, I've had this one since about March, April. I bought it just before, as we were going into work lockdown or a couple of weeks in. And I really, really like it. The formula is lovely. It's nice and smooth. Um, it's just a really nice formula. This one, I do like it. And it's bare minerals. So, you know, that oh, everything's like good for your skin. And it's not really going to irritate it. But I just prefer the way this one looks a little bit more. Um... I can, you see, a lot of you will probably think that looks normal and that looks a little bit light, but when I put them on after it oxidizes, it just blends and I, I'm just white. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm probably going to try and get away with this one. I have tried mixing these foundations before, um, but it just doesn't work. The formula breaks up when I use this and it just, it's a bit of a mess. So I just tend to stick to one and lighten it with translucent powder. I would say lighten it with concealer but paler shades and everything doesn't really make much of a difference so uh translucent powder is always uh, the best bet so what i do with this is i just sort of squirt one to two pumps one pump on my finger and then i just dot it around now the nice thing with this one is it doesn't dry as quickly as the bare minerals one so i can just blob on both sides of my face and then get my beauty blender and just blend it in and it's not gonna dry and go streaky or anything like that i actually started using beauty blenders after i'd binge watched jacqueline hill for probably about a year um because she always uses them and i'm so glad that I went onto them and I will probably never go off them because when you do it with a brush, I always find it leaves like streaks and you can go in with a brush and then go over your beauty blender and it'll like get rid of those streaks or you can just go in with a beauty blender. And if I come a little bit closer, oh, shadows, I'm so sorry guys. Um, You can kind of see it just blends in with the skin nice and seamlessly um so this is probably a medium coverage foundation when you first apply it but it's nice and buildable and i always go in with at least two layers so just dot it again on the second layer that's when i tend to blend up um, I always do my forehead after because although it's not drying, I don't want to take too much of a risk with it. So I'll always do like my main face and my nose and then I'll sort of start blending up. And once I'm happy with it, I'll go in and put a couple of dots on my forehead too. I always do my eyelids as well because I don't use an eyelid primer just because I've not found one that I like. I've tried the Urban Decay and the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. I don't like either of them. Um, so I'll just use my foundation and my concealer as a primer for my eyes. So now that that's kind of blended in, I'll go on with concealer again. So I don't actually know what I've done with my Morphe concealer. So it's going to be this Urban Decay one today and as you can see once i put my foundation on this is actually basically the same if you guys are also really pale 
um i'd love to know what your makeup tips are or what you do when you do your makeup um leave them in the comments below and maybe i can one day do a uh, dedicated video to people with pale skin using all of your tips i know i keep moaning about the lighting but it's really annoying because like i've got a mirror here and it's it looks really nice on there but on camera it's just looking horrendous um so maybe i'll just publish this video because i know quite a few people are requesting it and then for the next one i will have a proper play around and see what works because in person it's looking great and the lighting's a brilliant but as soon as i put my camera on it just doesn't look great so at this point you look pretty scary um i won't lie it's not the prettiest of processes um but it all comes together soon enough now i've used my concealer both as a highlight as a concealer so first off i did it under my eyes and on my chin um everything just separates on my chin so i always go in with quite a few different layers and then i did it on my eyes and i've seen a new trick actually where you put highlight here and it sort of lifts the face up so i'm gonna give that a go i feel like it's not that much difference to when you do the proper when you do like the triangles under your eyes um i mean who knows we'll see what it looks like when all of my makeup is done and then just blend out on my forehead you see even though i've got these clips in it doesn't get all of my baby hairs because there's just too many and they're so fine but um it's the cute it's kind of working so i don't mind um okay so now that i've done that i'm just going to put a tiny little bit more concealer on my eyelids just because i use it as a primer and we are going to be doing some eyeshadow today i haven't actually decided what i want to do um when i filmed this last time i got really really annoyed with how the look went because it looked pretty when i'd finished but i kind of wanted to try a bold look something green and something different and it just didn't really work um it kind of just looked like i had bruises so yeah i used the sticks as well as the pressed powder and i just i didn't like it but it came up pretty in the end because i've kind of made it like a smoky but natural nude um so yeah i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do we'll get there now that all of the liquids done on my face i will go in with the laura mercier translucent powder to set my face um again same beauty blender just dab it on and just go around your face so i tend to do this until my face is no longer sticky um and i try not to go it looks like a lot on there but i kind of tap it off on back into the pot so i don't get too much um because i'd rather build it up than look cakey straight away As I'm filming this, it's kind of like three days until Christmas, four days. What day are we on? We're on Tuesday. Christmas is Friday. I feel like this year's just gone so quick and it doesn't feel like Christmas. It still feels like November. Um, I don't feel like it feels like Christmas at all, but you know, we're nearly there. What are you guys doing for Christmas? I'd love to know. Um, maybe you're spending it with your family. Maybe you're in lockdown and you can't maybe you're on holiday who knows um but yeah let me let me know what you're doing for christmas down below um i will probably just be spending it with kane and his family and my mum as well um i'll have the horses to do which is usual for me i'm not in the tier four restrictions i'm in tier three which means i can still go see kane on christmas day which is brilliant I did think about vlogging it but um Kane hates the camera and I don't know 
maybe I will, maybe I won't, we'll, uh, we'll just see. So now that that is all blended in, if I touch it, it's not sticky or tacky. And I made sure that my jawline is all blended too. I then go in with my bronzer. So I use bronzer as a contour as well as to brighten my face up a little bit. Um, this isn't how most people do their makeup. This is just how I do it. And if you're only interested in using the Kylie products, then you can skip a bit. Um, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Pro Illuminate Powder. This is like a bronzery contour. Um, it's a really nice, like, goldy colour. I don't usually go for golds ever, but in makeup, I don't really mind. So I'm going to go in with the Morphe JH02 brush and just go around, tap off. And then just kind of do it on the high points of my cheek. And as you can see, it's kind of made a little bit of a difference already. And on the other side. And then just kind of cross my forehead. And down across my jawline. And that's just kind of added a little bit of colour without doing anything too drastic. I will go back in with this in a little bit, but now I'll do my actual contour. And I'm hoping that Kane's going to get me um, either the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer or the Too Faced Milk Chocolate one. Um, because all of the bronzers I have at the minute just they look a little bit mucky on me. Um, so... It works, but I'd like something a little bit different. But if Kane doesn't buy it, I'll probably just buy it in January anyway. Um, but for now, I'm going to go in with this Hoola bronzer. I'm not sure which shade it is. It doesn't really say. Um, it's just, just a bronzer. And I'll go in with the Morphe JH05 brush. Again, tap off the excess. And just kind of go where you've put the bronzer so the bronzer is almost like a guide um and i just start very outside of my face and go in a little bit but not too much and then on my temples and up the side of my face and then when i'm blending i'll just kind of go in circular motions now, it does look more extreme on the camera than it does in person. That's probably because of the shadows it's creating. But you can sort of see that this side of my face looks slimmer than this one. That's basically what contour is brilliant for. Um, it can make you look bigger. It can like make you look smaller. Um, can I add colour and definition to your face? It's, it's makeup, it's brilliant. <laughs> so one of the things that I know is that you're not supposed to like warp your face or like smile because it'll settle differently but one thing i do is i'll turn my head just so that it is a little bit tighter here so that when i do my jaw contour i can see it a little better um more for me rather than anything else um because i'll be turning my head throughout the day so it doesn't really warp as such and then just blend that out Even though the lighting's really annoying me, I actually kind of like how it's looking. Um, so then the same on this side. So with this, you are kind of creating a number three on your face. Um, the hoo, hoo. Um, you can do this with stick contour, uh, but I... I don't really get on with stick contours and cream contours um i've only tried them once and it was through an urban decay palette it was like um powders and creams but i didn't like them and i've not really tried anything else um i'm not it sounds really stupid but i'm not like a girly girl girl um i am because i get my nails done i love my makeup and stuff like that but whenever i try things um i'm not like amazing at it and like I don't tan and it'd probably do me a world of favours if I did but I feel like if I tried I'd either be orange or I'd be really streaky so I just don't bother like I'm not that kind of 
girl um i'll quite happily not wear makeup um when i do i like to do it but i'm definitely not the best or anything like that so now that that is done i'm gonna go back in with my bronzer and just do on my cheeks forehead and jawline and then go in with the jh01 and just kind of blend all of that out so again on here it looks like i've got more on than when i do in person and there's nothing wrong with that um i mean i kind of like how it looks on there but I also like how it's quite natural in person, so I don't mind. When I finish, I'll take um, I'll, I'll attempt to take some pictures, and then you can maybe see um, what the difference is between on camera and in person. So now that that's done, I'm actually going to start using the Kylie products, and in particular the blush. So if you watched my unboxing video, you will know I was slightly disappointed with this because. I thought it was going to be brighter um well not brighter but darker maybe um but I'm I'm in love with this it's the perfect shade so again like tap and then I'll just go in so I kind of try and keep my makeup a little bit higher um just because it creates a little bit of lift in the face or at least I think it does um I mean I could just be talking auto cod's wallet but you know um so i do if you don't want to do it that's that's fine oh it's so pretty now this has got little flecks of glitter in i'm not sure there we go you can see it a little bit um so this has got flecks of glitter in and so does the bronzer that i've been using and my primer so everything's kind of a little bit glittery but it's nothing much and it's all really subtle it just helps when you catch the light. Now, I usually go in with more blush at the beginning than I need, just because I know it doesn't last long on me. Um, well, not that it doesn't last long, it just, it'll fade kind of pretty quick. So um, I'll put a lot on, then within 15 minutes, it kind of looks all normal, but it kind of looks normal on the camera anyway. I feel like it looks very natural um i kind of wanted to go a little bit more glam but it's fine it's what the makeup wants so done that and now i am not baking but i'm cleaning up my face a little bit so i'm gonna go back in with the translucent powder and just with my beauty blender i'm gonna pick a little bit up and i'm just gonna clean up so I'm not baking, I'm just tapping it in to the skin. And I usually go from my tragus down to the side of my lip. And you can see it's just kind of cleaned it up a little bit and then just tap it through. So I've not got any harsh lines. and i'll always go and put a little bit extra on my chin and then i'm just going to go back with the beauty blender and go all across my face just so that everything's melted in and i know it's not going to move anywhere doing this will also help if you've got anywhere that's a little bit patchy or it's not quite settled right this will just make it all seamless so now that i've done that i'm going to go ahead and put a tiny little bit more contour in just because i can see that i don't have as much color here as i'd want so again same bronzer tap and i'm just going to go in around my temples and down onto my cheekbone slightly and then just bring it up slightly above my eyebrow and that's perfect so i don't have any harsh lines but it's still got a little bit of definition 
and again bring it up on my forehead and around my temples there we go so next i'm going to do my nose contour so i'm going to come a little bit closer to you so you can see what i'm doing but also because i like to do this with the mirror when i'm doing it so for this i'm using the jh40 same bronzer and i'm just going to go along the center of my nose up towards my eyebrow now this isn't necessarily a contour i'm just kind of making sure that my nose doesn't look flat against my face especially because we've put the bronzer and contour everywhere else and then just kind of blend that in i've not put any more on my brush not yet anyway because you'll be surprised how much actually picks up on the eyebrow brush so now i am going to go with a little bit and it is just a dot tap and i'm kind of going to go across the bridge of my nose and here because when you do your highlight you tend to do like an exclamation mark you do a dot and a bit of a line so i'm just going to help accentuate that by doing that and then i'm going to go back in with my gh01 and just blend it out like that and then just to help it again i'm going to go in with my translucent powder just a little bit and i tend to do this right on the edges and just go down my nose and bring that out under my eye like that so you can see the difference straight away it's kind of cleaned it up here but also brightens my under eye up so i'm going to do the same on the other side and the great thing about doing this as well is if your nose contours well whatever you're doing if it's a little bit messy this just helps clean it up so you don't have to be as precise when you do it and then i'm just going to take a little bit on the center of my nose and just tap that in with my finger and then again go back in with the jh01 and just go all around my face basically like so so i tend to do my highlight last and my eyebrows before i do my eyeshadow so i'm going to quickly do my eyebrows i may skip this for you because <sighs> it sounds so stupid but i feel like everyone does your eyebrows differently and i'm all, i get a little bit self-conscious how i do my eyebrows because i don't know whether it's right or well there's no right or wrong with uh makeup it's just you do you basically um but i always feel like people may judge the way i do them um i don't know we'll see it's it's so stupid but um it's because i don't have the nicest of eyebrows and they really annoy me so uh, yeah we'll see um to do them i'll use the morphe pomade in biscotti um i've had this for absolutely ages so what i tend to do is when it's a little bit dry i'll put some um either a bit of like setting spray in or a bit of like face oil uh just to make it a little bit wet again and then um i might talk you through one and then just like speed through it uh, but basically i start underneath and go up on top now this is really awkward for me because i usually do it on like a big mirror here and i'll like sit really close and i'm looking slightly down to do it um so it's harder but you know yeah i'm gonna skip through this process just because um one it'll take me forever and two i'm sinking down so you can't really tell anyway so my eyebrows are done and i hate the way that they look on camera um but they don't look that bad in person like 
oh Ugh. okay so so i'm gonna go in and just start using the eyeshadow palette this video is just horrendous quality and i'm so sorry i'm filming in 4k but the lighting is just it's just so bad so i'm just gonna start using my jh31 with the shade whoville and just kind of go all across my lid with that And then I'm going to go in with the shade Your Vile One. And this I'm going to sort of concentrate on the outer corner of my eye and into the middle. Now, this shade I'm really confused about because it's, it's brown in there. But then when it goes on, it kind of looks like a greeny yellow. Um, I mean, I'm not surprised it's the grinch palette but like i don't know i wasn't i wasn't expecting that um so yeah now that there's like nothing left on my brush i'm gonna take it into the inner corner of my eye <clears throat> and i'm just kind of doing windshield wipery circles um just to get a coverage so you can see it's darker on the outer corner than it is on the inner corner and then I'm going to go in with shade Old Grinch. Okay, so by the looks of it, I'm just going to end up doing a natural look. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm also really bad with eyeshadow brushes. I tend not to switch between them if I can help it. Um, yeah, I know that's not great, but I can't be bothered. I'm lazy. <laughs> so I am going to switch to the JH40. Just for a little bit of an increased outer lid like the v shape kind of thing i'm just kind of giving up looking at the camera because it just annoys me how bad it is um yeah sorry guys and then all i'm gonna do is just kind of go up towards the end of my brow just so that it blends it out a little bit more um i'm gonna go in with jing jinglers this gray shade again the jh40 and just place that on the outer crease and then i'm gonna go in with the jh35 I have washed these brushes, it's just kind of stained and I probably didn't do a brilliant job when I washed them. Um, but I'm going to go in snarled with a sneer on this brush and just over where I've put that grey, I'm just kind of circling. Ooh, I like that. And then I'm just going to blend inwards. Mm, yeah i really like that color i don't know if you guys can even tell no sorry you guys can't even tell what i'm doing it just looks like i've been punched in the eye um which is exactly how it looked on the last video and i decided not to publish it because i just hated it so much um but there we go okay so i'm just blending that again circles and windshields into the inner corner but I'm not going like really deep down because I'm probably going to do a cut crease. Um, and then just blend that all out. Okay, yep, I like that. Um, so I'm going to do the same on the other eye and then I'm going to go in and do a cut crease. So now that I have done that, I'm going to go in with my translucent powder and under my eye. Now, I probably should have done this before I started doing my eyeshadow, but it didn't really fall out that much, so it's fine. But by doing this, it's like a really helpful guide when you start doing your eyeliner. Why does that look on camera like it's just 
So I get really annoyed with how this looks on camera. I'm sorry, it looks horrendous. I'm probably gonna get a load of hate. I've not, but there's no I can do about it. I'm sorry. Um, gonna do a cut crease and I'm just gonna use a Morphe flat brush on some concealer and then just kind of like follow where my eyelid part fingers. So I never usually take it all the way out. Um, what I do is kind of go three quarters of the way across my eye and then just blend like that. So you can see I've not gone all the way. And then I'll do the same on this eye. So I am using concealer, but again, you can use an eyeshadow primer. I just personally don't like them, um, which is why I'm not using it. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go on and use the stick uh, eyeshadow sticks things again. Um, and I'm going to use this really light shade, No Hard Feelings. And just where I've done the cut crease, I'm going to go over it. Um, I mean, it's probably not going to make much difference. No, you can't really tell, but it gives it a little bit of glitter. And then just using like a brush that's not really got much on. I'm just going to blend that out. See, that's made that eye look a little bit better. Um, you see, it looks really dark and like grey on here, um, but in person, it just looks like a really natural nudie brown. It must be the shadow because this side's worse, but like that the eye's a bit better. Oh, I don't know. Um, anyway, now that that's done, I'm going to go in with the JH41. And I'm going to spray a little bit of setting spray on it. And then I'm going to use the shades Dahu Doraz and Fahu Faraz. And I'm gonna go with the inner corner on the lighter shade first. You can see how pigmented it is and it's got like little green flecks in the pink, which is pretty cute. So then I'm gonna blend that out with the Dahu Doraz once I've done it on this eye too. So I'm taking the shade um, about just over half way and then I'll blend the last part in on the darker shade like so. You can also use your fingertips when you do this um, with like the glitters. It all like, it just depends how your brushes pick it up. And again, on the individual shadows, um, but I found it works really well with this brush. So um, that's why I'm using this. And then I'll just kind of blend it with my fingertip. And then the same brush that I blended out the stick foundations with, I'm just gonna, tidy the outside of it up and kind of go over the lid a little bit and then go back in with the Laura Mercier powder and just do sort of from the end of my arch to my eyelid like that because I'm gonna go and use the eyeliner next. So I think the eyeliner was one of my favourite things that I had actually used um, because it, it, was, it just came on so nicely. I'm going to start with this eye and just kind of go from the outer corner up and then down and 
in a little bit. So I was actually really skeptical about this green eyeliner to begin with because I just wasn't sure how it was going to look. It's actually a really nice liner. It's not harsh like the black, um, so it's good for natural ones and I don't know, I just really like it. One thing I am going to try though is I'm going to use the black liner just on this very outer bit just to give a little bit of definition on this outer part because I feel like it comes out but not really attaches to my eye with the green. So I'm just gonna go and flick. So I don't know if you guys can even tell but um, it looks actually quite cool. It's, it didn't blend like I thought it would, it's definitely green black but um I quite like it so I'm gonna try it on the other side and there we go so the next thing I'm gonna do is curl my lashes and I just do this to help elongate them. Um, I just think it looks really pretty before you put mascara on. Um, I uh, used to get LVL lashes, but since lockdown I've not bothered. So I just curl them instead. You can see it makes a massive difference straight away. And I just kind of press and sort of pulse a little bit. I'll just switch between both eyes a couple of times just to make sure that it's all done. Ta-da! So I'm going to go in with this Ted Baker mascara. Now you can use falsies for this look or for any look but I just personally can never be bothered with them unless I'm going out out. Um, so I'm not going to but I think when you curl your lashes you don't really need to I think it kind of creates a nice dramatic look anyway so there's one eye and then swap onto the other eye and then just do my bottom lashes I'm really weird about my bottom lash mascara I only really like this one for it um and I never go to the root of my eyes I kind of just squiggle at the bottom like that just so it catches them just like so and then I'll go ahead and do the same on the other eye now I always do this and you probably shouldn't but I always forget to put eyeliner on after I've done mascara um like so on my waterline so I'm just gonna go in with a white liner and just draw on my waterline i'm just using a white one this is actually from primark so i don't need to be that brilliant and it just brightens up the eye a little bit so now that i've done that i'm gonna go in with a highlight and then it's time to put lipstick on so i'm using the grinch highlight on a Morphe JH07 brush and I'm just gonna tap, shake and highlight the top of my cheekbones. I'm not going for a dramatic highlight today, just something subtle and pretty. Then on my nose, my cupid's bow, A little bit on my forehead and then using another morphe brush it's just like a pencil one i'm gonna go a little bit in my inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit more and then under my brow like so now i have to admit 
I do prefer the Jaclyn Hill highlighters. I've got the flash palette, love it. Um, but I do really like it. It's nice little glow. It looks cute. It's a little bit natural, but I've still got a highlight, which I like. So I'm just going to wipe my lips and then we can put some lipstick on. I know some people can actually just do the lipstick straight without wiping, but I just don't like how it looks. It always goes like crusty or something. Okay, so I've got no idea which lipstick I want to use. I used the lipsticks, the stick ones, last time and I really, really liked it. But I think I want to try the liquid lip. So I'm going to go with that. Oh, it, I just love the packaging. It is really, really pretty. So I'm going to line my lips first. So, oh, I look really scary right now. Um, I do slightly overline this side of my top lip because I've got a scar and it just doesn't sit quite right. So all I do is follow my Cupid's bow. And just sort of round it off a little bit. Just like that. So you can see... It's still a little bit flatter than this side, um, but it's, a, it's better than what it usually is. I probably spend more time putting my lip liner on just so that both sides are even rather than putting my normal lipstick on just because this scar really annoys me. It's like really small and you can probably not notice it, um, but it's a scar and it's there and um, it just annoys me if my makeup isn't even. So now that I've got my lip liner on, I do tend to go in with a little bit of concealer just to clean it up. And I just use the same brush that I do to clean my eyebrows up, which is the Morphe M158. And just get a little bit of concealer. And just kind of go around the outside. It's also a great way to tell whether or not you've missed any bits. So you can see here, it's a little bit thinner because I've not done it straight. So I just go back in with my liner. So a great tip is if you want your lips to look a little bit bigger as well, go in with a little bit of contour and just there. Put a little bit and it'll make it appear like your lips are bigger because it creates a bit of a shadow. Okay, so now it's time to go in with the liquid lip and I'm going to try and get as much off as I can and do a really thin layer. So I've got quite a few of these and I'm probably, I may end up wiping this off yet because every time I try them, I kind of get like a crusty bit on the inside of my lip just from where they um, sort of clump. And it doesn't happen straight away, but like after a little bit. So I'm just going to go in with as little as I can. Mm, they're so soft. And there we go. So it's actually gone on a lot better than what I thought. Um, oh, I just love the smell of these and they're really, really soft. Um, so I'm going to go in again and go on around my lips with a bit of concealer just to sort of tidy it all up again. I'm really annoyed how it looks on camera because how it looks here and how it looks on there are completely different. I look like a clown and I don't usually do a pink or like a pink or a red lipstick but this is actually really pretty um so i will definitely take a picture just so you can see the difference so there we go i've tidied it up a little bit now i'm really tempted to try one of these glosses over the top of it um i don't know how it'll look but we can we can give it a go. So I've got the really pink one in the shade Sweet Like Candy Cane. Ooh. And I'm just gonna get a little bit and dab on the 
sort of center part of my lip. Ooh, okay. So I'm just kind of blending it out a little bit. I really like that. Um, so it takes it from a matte to a little bit more like a satin, but it stops your lips feeling really dry and because it's got a little bit of glisten in it I think it looks really really pretty so that is my makeup done the only thing I have left to do is set it and I'm going to use the Morphe one now this sounds awful but I don't really like Jeffree Star um there's nothing against him I guess it's just I personally don't I'm not interested in his videos and things like that, but his collaboration with Morphe, I do like. And this setting spray smells incredible. Um, it's, oh, I can't describe how it smells. It's just so sweet and like, it's a little bit like strawberries, but it's just, it's so nice. Um, But I really like this because it's an aerosol rather than like some of the other spritz. So it disperses evenly rather than just going like and then like clumping your makeup. Um, so there we go. I'm going to go and brush my hair and then show you the finished look. So there we go. I've brushed my hair through and um, I look like I can go out in public now. <laughs> um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I do really like this look. I'm just sorry it doesn't look as good on camera as it does in person. I may put um, a couple of pictures on Instagram if I can be bothered to take some. So my links are down below if you would like to check that out. Um, don't forget to subscribe and put the bell notifications on. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and I shall see you next time. Bye! Hey everyone, so I just thought I would really quickly update you. So I've had my makeup on for about three, four hours. I haven't eaten yet, but I have worn a mask and the lipstick has stayed fine. Um, it's not really crumbled. Oh, let me zoom you in. It's got that typical line, um, but it's not crumbled or anything like that. So I'm really, really happy with it um it's a lovely color it has stained my mask ever so slightly don't know if you guys can see that um so there is a little bit of transfer but it's nothing major yeah it's nothing major um but the makeup looks cute so yeah you can see it a little bit in a different light now um the highlight is cute and subtle if i close my eyes as well you can kind of see how the green and the black have gone together um but yeah so uh, that's my makeup um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe down below if you guys have any other looks that you'd like to see using this palette or if you would like any looks using any of the other kylie jenner products do let me know down below um, but if not i will uh, leave it here and i shall see you in the next one bye